Hi, I decided to make this video because I've used this plugin in previous tutorials and also I'm going to use it in a future upcoming tutorial suggested by one of my subscribers. So that's why I decided to make it and if people are asking uh, how to install or where to get it, I can point them to this video. This is the page where you can get the plugin from. I'm going to include the link in the description for this page. Once you get here for Windows 7, you just click on this here to download it. If you're using Google Chrome, it will download down here. If you don't know where your plugins folder is, you can start GIMP, go to the edit menu, preferences, then here click on this triangle to expand the folders, go to plugins and here you can see the path to the uh, plugins folder. Yours can be a little bit different. You can follow the path by going to uh, C drive, program files and so on or you can just copy it from here, just highlight it like this, control C to copy it and cancel this. Then we can close GIMP and here I have my downloads folder open with the downloaded uh, plugin and over here I just have a new folder open where I can click over here, press Ctrl V to paste the path that we previously copied, enter to apply and get into the plugins folder. Next we need to extract the archive here with the plugin. So I just select it, right click on it and use 7-zip extract here. This is the program that I have for extracting archives. You may have a different one. Then I need to get into this folder to see here the different plugins. Next I'm going to select all of these, just click and drag, then with the left mouse button I'm going to click and hold and just transfer all of these here, just click continue. And I also transfer the readme files and here I think this is a license, a license file. You don't really need to transfer these two text files, you can just remove them, but I transfer them here so I know where they are, I don't have to keep them any other place on my computer. And this readme file can be useful because here you can see where each plugin, actually each filter in the plugin is located. For example, the hue selection is in the filters, enhance, and then hue selection. So if you're wondering where each of the filters go, you can open this and see that information here. I'm going to close this and now we can start GIMP and let's see if this actually took effect, if we can see the filters now. Just go to filters here, enhance and you can see we have the hill selection and hill transparency here. So probably this Sunday I'm going to use one of these filters in a suggested by a subscriber tutorial. If you have a suggestion, don't forget that you can leave a comment. I'm going to read it and add it to the list of upcoming videos. And that's it for this one. I hope it was useful. If it was, make sure to like it, subscribe if you are new and visit my channel for more. And that's it for this one. Bye for now.